cute girl anime are one of the things that makes anime unique. These anime showcase cute girls to tell a peaceful and relaxing story filled with childlike innocence or cater to the viewer's desire to protect and care for these young ladies. Though some of these shows do go in more unique directions as well. So today, on April 1st, I want to present to you my top 10 favorite cute girl anime. First, k -On, the quintessential cute girl anime. It's about a group of high school students and their music club. They play music, have fun, eat sweets, and enjoy a life together. It may seem simple, and it is, but there's a degree of fun in the show that few others can match. There's also a slight amount of fear and apprehension about growing up that is mostly hidden in the background of the show, which I definitely appreciated. I said it before in my top anime list, but if you need a show to relax to, there is no better than k -On. And for my second cute girl anime, we have School Live also known as Gekko Garashi. If k is the show that best defines what a cute girl anime is, then School Live is the show that defines why cute girl anime are necessary. At first glance, this show is very similar to k -On. It's about a group of high school students enjoying their life together as part of their club. And there are a lot of just fun and relaxing parts here. But there's also the focus on the world outside the high school and how scary it can be. And this contrast is really fascinating. And I believe that the show is using the contrast to demonstrate why shows like this are needed. The world can be scary and overwhelming, so sometimes we just need to take a break and relax in relation to the fun, childlike innocence, just as these characters do. Third on my list is Happy Sugar Life. Happy Sugar Life is a story about love and family told in a really interesting way. It's about this young girl named Shio and the high school student Sato that takes her in. What makes the show interesting is all the different people who care about Shio and how their love for her pushes them to act. This isn't a romantic love either, which makes the show really fascinating. The blend of cuteness and love just makes the show really unique and one that I enjoyed greatly. Then at number four is the anime movie Black Fox. I love this movie, probably more than it deserves. It's much more action-focused than anything I've talked about so far, which probably explains why I like it so much, but it really does illustrate the power of cute girl anime. There's the childlike fun combined with the whole fight against evil, and then there's the friendship between opposite sides and the whole ideal of family that ties it all together. Plus, it does have some of the ridiculousness anime is filled with. Altogether, this creates a fascinating movie that I hope gets a continuation in some form. And at number five is High School Fleet. The unique thing about this show is that it is cute girls doing cute naval warfare things. Yes, a very odd combination, but it actually works quite well. There's a lot of focus on the characters enjoying life and friendship and all that. But there are more serious parts as well with the naval battles, but even so, they were very fun. And High School Fleet is a show that proves that cute girls don't just have to always do cute things to make a show good. They can blow ships up and stuff like that as well. Then at number six is Higurashi. Higurashi is about a group of young students enjoying life during the summer. There are a lot of parts with them just playing around, having fun. The show does get into them exploring the deeper mysteries around the town and the people they know. This is another show where the contrast of different types of storytelling works really well. And of course, I like how everything ties back to the friendship between the characters. Then at number 7 is Yuki Yuna is a Hero. This is a magical girl anime where the characters of the Hero Club turn into magical girls and fight to save the town. There are a lot of cute moments in the show that illustrate the friendship between the girls, and it works just quite well with their overall desire to do good in the world. And I like how they are doing so much for the community before they become magical girls. They put on plays for kids, help find lost cats, and anything that they can do to make the world a better place. But of course, their battles as magical girls are the highlights of the show. Well, that and them learning more about the world, which was quite fascinating. Then at number 8 is Fate Kali Prisma Ilya. This is another magical girl anime and a spinoff of the main Fate series. It also has some of my favorite cute slice of life moments in anime. Like they have parts where they go to the beach, or go to the festival, or discuss yaoi manga. And one of the things I really enjoy about these scenes, other than the whole comedy and fun, is that there's meaning to them. These aren't just the characters having fun, but they are the characters having fun against a backdrop that is not always so happy. A subtle difference, yes, but it is one of the big things that makes Khalid so special. And at number 9, we have Made in Abyss. 
This is a great adventure anime featuring the cute and innocent characters of Reg and Rico, and then later the cute bunny girl Nanachi. Actually, is Nanachi a guy or a girl? Huh, okay, we don't know Nanachi's gender. And then later, the cute bunny Nanachi. And I love the feeling of adventure as they explore the abyss searching for answers. There's always a feeling that there's something else they're about to uncover, whether they want to uncover it or not. Then there's also a great chemistry between the characters as well. And we also see one character care in the other when the other one can't move forward, both literally and figuratively. And then there are a number of heartwarming moments as well, along with some other things that make the show great. And lastly, at number 10, we have the music anime Show by Rock. This is a show where the main character is taken to a world that revolves around music. And in some ways, it's kind of a conventional idol anime, but I really do love the sense of wonder and adventure for this one. There's even a greater plot in season two with aliens and stuff that is quite exciting, though definitely absurd. And the absurdity makes it better. I also like how all the bands have their own style, and they are a joy to see perform or just interact as a whole, making this anime a lot of fun and definitely one of my favorite music anime. And that is my list. Thank you for watching, and maybe you found some new cute girl anime to watch. Sure, some of these are a bit unconventional, but they were all a lot of fun for me in their own unique way. Let me know what other cute girl anime you think I would like. There's some I really do like quite a lot, and I'm interested to find more like them. So thank you for watching, and of course, happy April 1st.